Hi all, welcome to Sri Solar Life. Uh, now we are going to uh, see the solar sizings for that um, locations, what we have specified here. Uh, its location will be the Amid store. It's in Punjab, located in India. It's the northern sector of the India. And then uh, that uh, latitude uh, for the location will be 31.6332 and 74.8727. Okay. Uh, it's uh, nearby that uh, Hotel Rivoli. Yeah, could be the exact location that uh, if you search in Google or something. And uh, so we are uh, here. We are going to explain uh, what type of uh, solar panels you have to put. Uh, if you go with that load, uh, which we have specified here. Uh, so we have consider. Uh, you know, uh, as we, if we have the place or residential or commercial, anything is there. So if you go with that solar systems, solar panels. If you are planning for the installations. Um, you may uh, need to go with that sizing as I said before. Uh, now I'm going to tell you that uh, what loads we have considered here. So we have considered 25 watts, uh, 4 numbers, 8 hours per day, 10 watts uh, load, 2 numbers, 8 hours per day, 100 watts load, 4 numbers, uh, 10 hours uh, running for per day, 100 watts load, 1 number, 6 hours running per day, and 50 watts load, uh, 1 numbers, uh, 8 hours running per day. So if you calculate that for the entire year, years, if you are operating this load for the entire year, uh, you may need to uh, probably if you convert to the units, electricity units, it will come almost to 2,454.6 uh, units required. Uh, you know, basically, if you it's a power con um, consumptions basically if you uh, run the load this many loads as you specified the timing periods with a duty cycle of 100 percent. Okay, uh, so uh, if you are going to install the solar panel like. Uh, based upon this latitude and longitude uh, we have designed the system for these locations and uh, I, I believe you guys have seen my last video for the, all the locations we don't want to repeat every point each and every time so it's better to watch all the videos so you could able to see that what we are going to explain and what we are trying to explain here uh, we are trying to is explain basically uh, uh, you need to see that uh, load what we are going to use and then you have to plan the searching of the panels it's not like we size the panel first and then see the loads something that's the difference there okay uh, so here we have taken all the uh, design criteria uh, we, what we took is uh, we have taken all the uh, climate condition for the each locations I'll be calculating the all the engineering values uh, almost 50 to 60 characteristics okay uh, so based on that uh, we have designed the system here uh, so if you run uh, this many system to, to locations so you have to uh, your uh, load uh, units, early units, generates, which we specified for that. Uh, so you have to go with the panels, solar panels. I said we have to use for uh, polycrystallines. So we have considered here polycrystallines with the greater specifications. And but you can go with any of the panels uh, as you like. But you have to select uh, as per the specifications. Uh, so better go with the better panels. Yeah, better panel in the sense. Uh, there are a lot many products uh, is available in the market you can go ahead with that so if you want to generate these many units from the locations you have to go with that uh, 3200 uh, WP panels to achieve that uh, loads basically it means you are generating uh, those uh, loads from this panel if you are putting this type of panels and we have considered all the losses here for the design the panels if you if you go with this batteries and all try to consider the uh, battery use uh, aging factor temperature corrections blah 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 not many things you have to put it uh, for the battery designs if you want to uh, make an autonomy you have to go with that uh, one day or two day three day basic autonomy meaning is the backup of the system you are generating the energy you want to store it to the batteries and then you're releasing to the loads uh, so here uh, if you go with the one day autonomy probably you can go ahead with the type of batteries you can put it uh, series parallel it's almost a total voltage battery to achieve the autonomy if you are increasing the autonomy you can multiply the batteries as you like to go with that uh, so if you design the battery you just consider the low level uh, discharge and uh, DODs etc and then you can go ahead with that based upon your costing etc yeah uh, so so this is the systems we are ex trying to explain here it's, uh, it's we are not uh, telling this is the uh, um, this is the common reading for the entire strain okay I, as we said it's exactly for that locations only uh, if you're changing the orientations etc so probably the you'll get uh, variables in the re readings basically uh, 
ultimately you're losing the money uh, that's the main point here and then uh, you can go ahead with uh, uh, and uh, any kind of uh, panels which is very good in the market and uh, if you uh, uh, your degree also is very important here right you have to put it towards the south and uh, just to seek the see the azimuth direction etc what else to say uh, nothing so if you have any doubts uh, just put an email to us uh, streetsolar at gmail.com streetsolarlife at gmail.com we will reply back to you and if you have guys working in the sector if you have any concerns probably you can put a mail to us uh, we will uh, try to um, explain everything to you and it will help all the people I believe uh, okay thank you for watching this video please share to your friends and yeah thank you bye